Hey, we're back for another episode of It's Time to Steam with the Science Machine. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Now, all you need, this is, t -t today's show is really, really simple when it comes to the materials that you'll need. All you'll need is a potato and some straws. And that's it. That's it. That's it. So, let's jump right into it. Now, a couple of things we need to know. This experiment is all about the power of air pressure. Say air pressure. Excellent. And so, just to give you an example, if I take this straw and stick it straight into this container, all of the water goes right up into the straw. But if I put my finger right here, it locks all that water inside the straw. And so if I pull it out and then take my thumb off the straw, the water will fall down into the container. You see that? And so if I keep my finger off, all the water is filling up the straw. And then if I put my thumb on top, it locks it in there. And then if I pull it out and take my thumb off, there goes all the water. Well, the same thing happens when I put my thumb on top of the straw like this. Guess what, guess what gets caught in the straw, junior science machines? Air, exactly. And so right now, when I put my thumb on top of the straw, there's all this air that's stuck on the inside and it can't get out because my thumb is on top. And so if I take my potato, <laughs> And when you're at the store, when you're picking out your potatoes, it's very important to get the long, slender ones. Don't get the big, fat, bulky ones. Get the long, slender ones. And what we're going to do, we're going to take the straw and using the power of air pressure, we're going to stick the straw straight through the potato. Are you ready? Here we go. All right. Hold the potato as close to the end as you can. And here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> I know, I know. And you get another one, get another one. And you always want to make sure that your hand's never back here because you don't want the straw to go through the potato and then go hit your hand. So we'll take this one out. And here we go again. One, two, three. So, remember, when you put your thumb on top of the straw, it traps all of the air inside and it makes the straw stiffer than it normally would be. So stiff that you can take a regular straw and stick it straight through a potato. And that's awesome! <laughs> I'll see you for experiment two in just a few seconds. <laughs> Hey, Junior Science Machines. This is, this is kind of a heartfelt moment for me, seeing that this is the last experiment, maybe the last time that we might steam with the science machine on YouTube. But we'll see, we'll see. But I'm excited, I'm excited. And this experiment, this is actually the first experiment that I ever did in order to be able to perform my show. This is what happened. About 20 years ago, I was at Meadowview Elementary. Principal Zandra Sherdwood was there. Is she still around? I really appreciate you, Zandra. She was awesome. She gave me my first shot. And she, I was in her office talking to her, and right when I was about to show her this experiment, the secretary called. And she said, Principal Sherwood, you gotta take something, care of something out front. And right before she was walking out, I said, when you come back, I will have cut a hole in this piece of paper big enough for you to jump through. And Principal Sherwood was like six foot four, so she was like, yeah, whatever. And so when she came back, this tiny piece of paper had been cut into a hole big enough for her to walk right through. And so we're gonna go back and we're gonna reminisce to the first experiment. So you ready? Here we go. Now, when I first tell you that I'm going to cut a hole in this piece of paper big enough for me to be able to jump through, the first thing that your eyes do is they look to see how big the perimeter of the paper is. Say perimeter. The perimeter 
is the edges all around. And so once you look at the perimeter of the paper, your eyes send a message to your brain and your brain says, the paper's not big enough to cut a hole in it, big enough for the science machine to jump through. <gasps> but it is. And so all you have to do is take your paper and fold it in half, okay? And then let me get my goggles because I see my scissors in, okay. So you want this end that's open to be held up and you wanna cut up, but don't cut all the way through. And then turn it around and do the same thing on this side. So you've, if you open it, you've got a piece of paper that looks just like this. And so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna cut right along this center flap. Don't cut the end pieces, just the center flap. So we're just gonna cut straight down the center. Perfect. And then when you finish that, it'll look like this. And then just fold it in half, just like that. We're almost there. And then we're going to cut back and forth, back and forth. So here we go. We'll start down here. Now don't cut all the way through, stop. And then cut back up this way. And then cut back up this way. Don't cut all the way through though, junior science machines. And you wanna be careful that you keep your fingers far enough away from the scissors that you don't cut your fingers either. And we're just going back and forth, back and forth. And you can take your time, there's no rush. Just go back and forth, back and forth. Oh, can you see what's happening? <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, we're going back and forth, back and forth, and I think maybe Six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then put that away for safekeeping right there. And then all you have to do very carefully is just open your piece of paper up. And that's a hole big enough for the science machine. <laughs> to jump right through. And that's awesome! So, practice that, make your video, tag me, and I've had a great July. I hope you've had fun too. And don't forget, it's always time to steam with the science machine. And I wanna say one more thing, cause you guys just don't know how much work it really is for my wife to come out here and do all these videos. And she's the awesome videographer, so I just wanna tell her thank you too. I really appreciate you. I'll see you guys later.